Hey everybody, what's going on? So I know I don't normally do product reviews on my channel here. It's not really our thing. We're sort of more into gaming, but I felt like this was relevant enough to my audience. And frankly, I was blown away by this product, especially at the price point. So what we're talking about today is the Yeti X USB condenser microphone from Blue. If you don't know, Blue is actually owned by the company Logitech. So you're gonna see some crossover between this product and some of the Logitech products. Now, I just got the microphone yesterday. I've been playing around with it for about the last 24 hours, and there's a lot to it. There's a lot of things going on with it. There's a lot of possibilities. What I'm gonna do for the sake of timing in this video is really just kind of stick to the things that a content creator, whether YouTube or streaming, is really gonna care about, because there's a ton of things that you can get into with this that I don't think is totally relevant to everybody. Now, previously I had been using this, the Snowball, also from the company Blue. For the price point, it was an absolutely amazing starter microphone. I can't speak highly of it enough, but as soon as I got the Yeti X, I noticed immediately a world of difference. So we're gonna talk about a few things today with this microphone. Of course, we're gonna talk about costs. We're also gonna talk about some of the features on the microphone itself, on the physical microphone that you can interact with. And then we're gonna talk about some of the software features that it's bundled with that really allow you to get in and tweak the settings. And then finally, we're gonna run some tests. We're gonna have a few different microphones and I'll let you hear the difference in sound between all of them. Let's get into it. Now, let's talk about the price of the Yeti X. We talked about the Snowball here just a second ago. You can pick this up for about $35 to $45, depending on where you get it. It is for sure an entry-level microphone, but it is also worlds better, especially for the price than like a, a headset microphone, which a lot of people use. Now the Yeti X does come in at about three to four times more expensive than the Snowball. You can pick it up for about $140 to $160, again, depending on where you get it. But I would argue that the sound quality is also about three to four times better than the Snowball. You just have so much more control over the sound coming out of the microphone into your computer. And with that, let's move on to some of the on microphone features. So when I say the features on the microphone, I mean the features on the physical microphone. So this is gonna be a little bit awkward because I'm actually gonna pick up the microphone that I am recording this video on right now. I'm gonna keep it away from my mouth so I'm not like screaming in your ear and I apologize if it's a little bumpy sounding or, uh, or it, it peeks out a little bit. But uh, first thing to notice on this, uh, this is a really strong and sturdy stand it's on. It's very heavy. It's a big boy that's not going to get knocked over or, or fall off your desk by accident. Um, now, you can remove these two pins on either side and mount it to a, a microphone stand that you may have attached to your desk. Now, uh, in this center section of the microphone here, there's three things going on. Um, first and most obvious, you can see that my levels are being tracked real time. You can see the lights jumping up and down as I speak. So if I stop speaking, and then start speaking, you can see the lights uh, jumping up and down, indicating the levels so I can really easily see if I'm peeking out on my audio without having to look over at my other monitor where my levels are also being displayed. Now this in the center here is a button and a knob. It's dual purpose. Uh, as a knob, you can adjust it left or right, uh, which will affect the gain. And that's the amount of audio that's being put out from the microphone based on the audio that's coming into the microphone. But it's also a button, not just a knob. So you can instantly just mute the microphone if you need to. So right now I'm sitting here talking to you. And then when I press it again, now you can hear me again. Really nice little feature to have right, right at your fingertips. You don't have to touch your mouse to mute the mic or anything. You can just, you can just hit it real quick. Now on the back here, is one last button. This is gonna change the pickup pattern of the microphone. There are four different pickup patterns that you can use on this microphone. I'd wager to guess you're really only gonna use probably two, likely more, more likely one of them, but uh, they are worth discussing. So let's actually move into the next section where we're gonna talk about the software that comes with the microphone. So the microphone comes with a software tool that is really powerful and a lot of fun to play around with you're probably only gonna use like four or five of the functions in it like I am. Uh, it, it, it gets into absolutely every setting. You can tweak everything to the nth degree and a lot of it you're not gonna want to or need to or care about. 
Uh, but that's cool. It's, it's, it's neat to have all the tools at your fingertips if you want it. So when I opened the box, uh, the instructions made reference to a software tool called Blue Sherpa. So I immediately went onto Google and searched it up because I wanted to download it and use it with the microphone. And it, it was like not readily available. There were like some mentions of it, but I sort of felt like I wasn't on the right path. I eventually found a Reddit article that said that uh, they absorbed it into the Logitech G Hub software. Remember uh, in 2018, as I mentioned, Blue was bought by Logitech. So I think over time they just sort of consolidated all their software tools. And so I already had that software. So I just launched it and plugged the mic in and it found it, recognized it right away and brought up all of uh, the settings tools that I could tweak with this. So let's take a look at that now. All right, so when you plug in your microphone and launch the Logitech G Hub software, this is what you're gonna see. It's what I saw, the microphone just popped up straight away, super easy super user friendly. You can go ahead and click on the microphone and it's gonna bring up your settings menu. This is probably the best place for you to start is this blue voice menu. I would suggest going up and down this list on the left hand side and picking one of these to sort of start with, see, see what it sounds like uh, in your headphones or do a recording. Uh, you can test the recording here. So you can go ahead and pick one, hit this record button, it'll record up to 30 seconds. You can play it back, see how something sounds immediately. Super easy, super helpful. I started with this broadcaster too. I thought it sounded best for my voice. I made a couple tweaks then, and then I could save it as this uh, one in blue here, the broadcaster Manix is what I, I named it. You've got some other fun options here. If you wanna sound like an AM radio, go ahead, you can do that or an FM radio. I assume there's a little more fidelity in that one. I, I can't hear them right now, but I assume you can hear them. Uh, if you want to sound like a classic radio, is this like 1940s classic radio or are we talking like classic rock radio? Like Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I don't know, you're hearing it, I'm not. But we're gonna go back to my original setting, which is this broadcaster Mannix. Up here, you're gonna notice this uh, polar pattern. That is the microphone's pickup pattern. We're going to get to that in just a second. We're gonna save that to the end of this menu discussion. You've also got these effects. Some of these are absolutely wild. I tested these out yesterday and it felt a little buggy to me, like it was changing them and then it stopped changing them and I couldn't, I had to kill the software and come back in to get it to turn off. So I'm in fact not going to touch any of those right now. You are more than welcome to when you load up your software. Let's go back to Blue Voice, make sure it's still on the right settings. It is. So let's move down this left-hand menu real quickly. We're not gonna touch on all of these in any kind of detail. Uh, these are sampler, this is a sampler. You can have um, audio sounds in here, which you can then tie to a hot key on your keyboard and trigger those with the press of a button. The lighting, the front of the microphone, it's a lot of fun. I have not changed this from its default because I really kind of like the green that's on the front of this microphone. But if you wanted to, you can adjust that to any color you want for the live or the mute color. Lastly down here, there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom of the microphone that you can plug in and this is where you can adjust those settings. Now, let's talk about the uh, pickup pattern of the microphone. You have four options. Uh, cardioid is more than likely where you're going to spend most of your time. It is where most uh, podcast and streaming microphones, uh, it, it is their, their, their default pickup pattern. It is a very full sound without picking up a ton of outside ambient noise. But let's talk through the other options that you have. Now, depending on what you're watching this on and what you're, you're listening to this on, you may or may not actually hear the difference in these, but we'll, we'll talk through them anyway. Uh, you also have the option of stereo, and what stereo does is it allows a, a, a different sound from the left as from the right, so as you move around, we'll test it right now. I am now on the far left of the microphone. I am now on the far right of the microphone. So you can hear it coming at you from two different directions. We then have Omni. Omni is a straight in sound. Uh, if I move to the left or the right, it's going to significantly cut down on the volume that you're hearing from me. Um, again, it's helpful, but you gotta make sure you're staying right lined up with the front of the microphone. Then we have by 
functional, which is sort of the same as Omni, but in reverse, uh, or rather I should say, uh, but it sort of duplicates it. This is best used if you're in an interview setting where you are on one side of the microphone and your subject is sitting on the other, and then the audio can come in from both sides while eliminating the noise that's coming from the left or the right. I am going to switch this back to cardio. Uh, as that is my preferred setting and I, again, I think this is probably good for most settings because it sort of allows you to move around if you're playing a game, if you're creating content and moving, it's still going to pick you up while eliminating a lot of that ambient noise. All right, and so finally, as promised, we are gonna do a little bit of a microphone test here for you, just so you can hear the difference between three different microphones. This entire video has been recorded on the Yeti X, so I assume you're probably fairly familiar with that sound now. We are also going to be doing the uh, Blue Snowball, which I referenced earlier, as well as the Razer headset microphone you see me wearing. So. Let's go ahead and we're gonna switch from the Yeti to the Blue Snowball. The Snowball is a fantastic microphone for its price. Again, 35 to $45. You're gonna get a lot of difference between say that and a, and a headset microphone. But compared to the Yeti, I have to believe it's a little thinner, uh, a little less sort of, there's less body to the sound, uh, but it's, it's, it's still a very good microphone for that price. Let's go back to the Yeti very quickly, just so we can re-clarify that baseline sound that you've been hearing all video. And we're going to go ahead and switch to the Razer headset microphone. Now I have one, I use it occasionally. I totally understand that there is a place for these uh, in, in the world. If you're gaming and you don't want a microphone right in front of you, I completely understand that this is out of the way. It blocks out a lot of the ambient noise. But, you know, the Yeti X is, is this big of a microphone, the Snowball is this big of a microphone, and this is that big of a microphone. There's only so much fidelity you can get out of a microphone that small. And we are back with the Yeti. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked this and this style, the product reviews, it's the first one I've done, let me know in the comments and I can certainly look into doing some others. And in general, if you like the content you see here on my channel, make sure you give a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.